At UK Flooring Direct, all of our products are designed for ease of installation, providing the correct procedure is followed. This video will guide you through the entire process, ensuring a trouble-free installation. Whilst this video demonstrates the use of power tools, the same effects can be achieved equally well using hand tools. A basic toolkit should include a spirit level, duct tape, a pencil, combination square or straight edge and a tape measure, a utility knife, a hand saw and coping saw, spacers, a tapping block, a pull bar and a hammer. To begin, please ensure that the site conditions are suitable and the subfloor is both dry and level. Prior to installation, check the products are free from defects and suitable to be laid. Remember, the fitter is the final judge. All floating floor installations must have a recommended underlay. UK Floor and Direct strongly advise that a damp proof membrane is used in all installations of wooden flooring over a concrete subfloor. This protects against residual moisture in the concrete. The flaps on the underlay should be overlapped and the joints securely sealed. On installing the first row, start with a full board and place spaces to ensure a 15mm expansion gap is maintained. Cut a third off the length of a full board to start your second row. This gives a naturally staggered effect. Continue to install by inserting the long side of the board at an angle. Work into the click mechanism while sliding the board to the left to meet the previous board. The drop lock on the short side of the board then needs to be dropped down and secured into place. At the end of a row, measure the length of board needed using a spacer to maintain the 15mm expansion gap. Once the board has been cut to size, fix it into place with the use of the tapping block. Use cutoffs from the board ends to begin new rows, creating a natural stagger. Repeat this process throughout the installation, using the tapping block to ensure the boards are secure. All door frame architraves must be undercut, using a waist off cut and a piece of underlay as a height guide. Keep your hand saw flat and level whilst cutting the frame. Ensure you cut the architrave out using a chisel to remove scrap pieces. Now to measure and cut the board to fit. Use a pencil and mark just in line with the architrave and where the deepest point of the architrave is. Measure the depth of the architrave leaving your expansion gap and then mark this on your board. Use a straight edge to extend the vertical markings to meet the horizontal marking and join them up. Add a diagonal corner to account for the set shallow end of the architrave. Proceed to cut the board into shape. And then install. Cut away any excess underlay and use an appropriate profile to finish the doorway, remembering to allow for expansion between the base of the profile and the flooring. You may need to scribe your final row. Take a full board and lie it directly on top of the previous row, but in line with where your next board will need to be laid. Take a second scrap piece and push it against the wall. Using this as a guide, mark with a pencil all the way up the board, moving your guide piece along the wall as you go. By keeping the profile on the offcut allows for an expansion gap. Before installing, ensure the expansion gap is 15mm. Once satisfied with the cut piece, insert and secure into place. Once the floor is laid, it must then be covered with a suitable edge profile or skirting board. This is a brief installation guide. 
Every installation is individual and specific to each job and site. The installer should always refer to the installation guide from the manufacturer found within the product they are using.